his mother, Diana Askew. I just want to start off by saying, you know, basketball was my first love. I was nice now. <laughs> so it's kind of surreal that I'm here today being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. People back at home from Aliquippa, know I'm a, I'm a hooper at heart. Life is shaped by the choices we make. Even if one thing we cannot choose shapes us most where we come from. No one has control over when, you're, when they're born, what family they're born into, or where they start. But these things have profound impact on every decision we make and who we become. The conditions had, had to be just right for me to end up here. Every moment, every opportunity, perfectly aligned. I'm from Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. For those of you who never heard of Aliquippa, all you need to know are there are three names, Mike Dicker, Tony Dorsett, and Ty Law. My hometown produces legends. Now that you know where I come from, I need to tell you a little bit about who I come from. My Uncle Mark played Division I basketball at Duquesne. I was a ball boy for his team, and I thought to myself that I'll make it to the NBA before he do. <laughs> I must have been about seven or 80 years old at the time, and he used to bring me on campus with him. One day we were driving through a neighborhood nice neighborhood and we stopped at the end of long driveway. I could see a huge house at the end. My uncle asked me, would you like to live in, in a house like that someday? I said, yes. Looking black, back on that moment now, I realized that was the first time I learned about manifestation and visualization. As kids, we've all imagined ourselves making the cuts play that will will our team to victory, but this was different. I was becoming aware of the connection between seeing myself in that house and the attention behind my actions. I've learned early on that if I wanted to be in a house like that, I had to set some goals. Ultimately, goal setting became the core of my preparation and work ethic. If I got my hoop game from my uncle, then you know I got the love of my football game from my Uncle Sean. He played for Pitt and was drafted in the first round. A blueprint I will later follow before all, all of that, I was his finish line. My uncle would run sprints up the hill, hills we lived near, and I would be waiting at the top. He was an example of doing the things necessary to give yourself the chance to be great. I eternalized that lesson and it fueled my insanity. It wasn't enough to win, I needed to dominate. By that time I reached high school, my development as a player progressed to a point where it was time to learn about sports as a business. My Uncle Sean, he would give me challenges. He would give me $100 every pick I made and every touchdown I scored. 
I may not have realized it at the time, but he was preparing me for what was to come. It wasn't about the money. It was about understanding my value, my worth as a player. So when it was time for me to go to the league, I was prepared. In 2007, I was drafted, 14th overall. That moment was the combination of all lessons I learned and all the work put into the pursuit of perfection. It was, it was an opportunity for me to continue my legacy for my hometown and to forge my own. Now that you know how I started, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to some of the people who have supported me on my journey. Now I'd like to start with Rex Ryan. Ahead, ahead of the new 2009 season, Rex Ryan called me the best corner in football, and I haven't even met him yet. Needless to say, the expectations were high. After our first meeting, I was convinced that I'd play my heart out for him. He was crafting a winning culture and told me that he was confident that I was the guy to set the tone for the rest of the team. Rex, thank you for seeing something special in me and motivating me to live up to, to that potential. Thank you. When Rex joined the team, he brought over a secondary coach who I became very close with. Dennis Thurman was a perfect fit for my development as a player. I don't know if you recall, but in 2009 ended up in being a historical season for me, and DT was a pivotal role in my success.